Oh, guys, it's finally here. It is med school finals. Revision time. Oh, that's precarious. Anyways, today is January the 4th and my exam is on January the 12th and I've done exactly zero studying. I've got no motivation no effort and no energy left for this damn exam. Ignore the fact that I made this on the flight. This is what I'm working with. I've got my two OSCE books over here. Our good friend Google, the purple book guide where I'm keeping track of everything that I'm doing. And I'm also in the study with me group on the Discord server over here. Got my snacks and everything like that. And it's pretty much it. This is day one, hour zero. All right, guys, so the first examination, the abdominal examination is done. It's kind of mad how much of a sort of kickstart there is to getting back into OSCE studying. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I've forgotten so much and I'm so rusty and out of practice and I need to get back in the zone, get back in the mood of doing these exams. But it is what it is. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, and that is the first four hour block done of day one. I went through all of the big four exams, so cardio, resp, abdo, neuro, gait, and then cranial nerves as well. The idea or thought of studying for med school finals was just this huge mountain challenge in my head that I really didn't want to get started and my motivation was really low. But now that we've gotten even a small start, just the first four hour block, I already feel a lot better about it. So it's even more proof and evidence that once you start something, it just becomes a lot easier. But anyways, I'm going to break for lunch now. Probably should change out of my pajamas as well. And then I'm going to continue OSCE practice in a group setting with Kenji and Georgina, who you guys I'm sure know by now. All right, guys, reaching the end of day one of studying. I just did two hours of OSCE practice and now I think I'm gonna finish off the day with an hour and a half of MCQs or past paper questions. Day one of studying, just gotta grind this out for the next couple of days or the next week, I guess, and bang out this exam. Be done with medical school and start working as a doctor. Oh my goodness, it's so close, I'm kind of freaking out. But anyways, one step at a time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right, day two of med school finals, heading to the clinical skills room at our university to go do some practical skills with Kenji and Georgina. It's absolutely freezing cold. I did not expect this. Definitely should have worn a thicker jacket, but it is what it is. We're back on campus. Clinical skills building. That is it for the morning session. Uh, we were practicing procedural skills, so things like ECG, ABG, catheterization, scrubbing up, whatever you guys saw in the clips just now. We've all split up to get some lunch, and now we're gonna head to a booked out library room in order to do some examinations. So things like cardiac exam, respiratory exam, etc. And those two things make up a pretty decent chunk of our OSCE exam. Obviously there's history and communication stations to get through as well, but those are things we can do by ourselves at home. When we're here on campus, we wanna do all the things that we can't otherwise do at home. So practical skills, examinations on other real people, etc. Back at the library. 
Hi, good afternoon. My name is Nasa Karma. I'm one of the doctors here. Yes. Can I start by confirming your name and your age, please? Yeah, it's Ken G. I'm 25. Cool, that's fine. We are going to have to postpone the Oscars, so they will not be happening in January as planned. I can't believe this. What date, though? They postponed our Oscar. We got an email from the uni which said that our Oski has been postponed to an unknown date. And so in classic med student fashion, we have started preparing for our progress test, the multiple choice question test. So that's what we're doing now. We're very upset about this development, but we won't bitch about it on camera. All right, so we've just put in a very long shift at the library. How long was it? <laughs> Nine to six? Nine to six, nine to yeah. Five? So nine hours. We did a lot of good studying and that's pretty much it for day two. Now we're only gonna be doing past paper questions and focusing on the written exam. Yeah. Because our OSCE is postponed, which is great. <laughs> Do you think you wanna say? Oh no. Comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> So day three is over for studying, but not over to get in a bit of rest and relaxation, some gaming in with the boys. Don't you guys worry, I'm here to switch things up. Are you using my strategy? Honestly, with all the studying that's going on, I really make sure that I go to the gym, I play my video games, rest and relax, and just have a good time as well. Can't study without unwinding. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to day three of studying for my med school finals. As you saw yesterday, the OSCE exams or the practical exams have been canceled. These are the ones that I would have had on the 18th and 19th of January. So those have been postponed until March. So the only exam I have left is the written exam, which is in six days from now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, very, very close. Anyways, all I'm doing to prepare for that now is just doing past paper questions here on the left, taking my notes on my Notion database that you guys have probably seen a million times and chatting with Kenji and Georgina about those questions on WhatsApp. And yeah, nothing much to see here. Just need to grind these questions away. The more I do, the better prepared I'll be. Feeling a little bit nervous about this exam, but not too much. I've done a lot of these before and I'm probably going to be fine. Just need to practice over the next couple of days. Keep my mind nice and fresh. On top of doing the practice questions and taking notes, I've got a couple of you guys studying with me live on the Discord server, which is over here. <laughs> So I've got you guys to keep me company whilst I study as well. If you're interested in joining the Discord server, you guys can check out my Patreon. I'll leave links on screen and in the description. All right, guys, that is it for me for today. It has been a long day of studying. I feel like my eyes are starting to close and I definitely need a change. Huge, huge shout out to all of you who are studying with me in the Discord room. You guys are honestly the best, had your cameras on, kept me accountable for the whole day, so I really appreciate it. So after this long day of, oh, so after this long day of studying, I am in much need of some exercise. I think I'm gonna go for a run, because I haven't gone for a run in a long time. I would film it, but filming me running isn't exactly that exciting. So instead, here's some footage of me doing a home workout here in my room a couple of days ago. Enjoy that, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day four of studying. I think, or five, I've lost count. Anyways, I'll see you guys then, peace. And I got into a really great routine of gymming before I left for this holiday over Christmas, but I am really scared of catching COVID and having to mitigate these exams or not be able to write them and then having to retake them at some point during the year. I feel like that is not an option and that is not going to happen to me. So it's gonna be home workouts and runs for me up until these exams are over and then I'll feel more comfortable going back to the gym. We haven't got the most high-tech setup over here, just a gym mat and a couple of weights, we do what we can.
All right guys, welcome back to day number four, I think, this one over here. Today I'm gonna to be filming a 12 hour study with me. And no, you didn't hear that wrong. I've never done that before and obviously I do not study 12 hours a day. In fact, I don't think I've ever studied 12 hours a day. The most I've ever studied in a day is 10 hours. And usually I do about eight hours during exam season. So this is far beyond what I would normally do, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while, kind of as a personal challenge to myself, just to see if I can do it. I also think it would make a pretty interesting YouTube video. 12 hours is the upload limit on YouTube. And I think if there was a study video for that long, it would be pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it try not to die and hopefully make it i'm gonna record the whole thing the video is probably up on the channel already but if it's not look out for it subscribe stay tuned etc and that's all i'm gonna do today so i'll probably catch you in the next day wish me luck guys i don't know how but I'm happily here to report that we did it. We finished the 12 hour study with me. I've racked up a stupid amount of mugs of coffee and tea. I feel like I've been sitting here all day doing nothing but studying. Honestly, huge shout out to all of you on Discord who are here studying with me. You guys are all here in the chat. I could not have done it without you. Having that accountability and other people to study with, even when I'm here at home, can't go to the library, can't be with anyone from med school, is great. And yeah, that is going to be the longest study with me I've ever done. I'm not doing this again. This is it, this was a one-off. So if you want more long study with me, is rewatch that one. It'll be up on the channel as soon as I can find the energy to edit it, which might not be for a while, so bear with me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. What day is this now? Day one, two, three, four. All done. Just like that, we are one day closer to med school finals. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Hi guys, good morning. So today is actually day six, not day five. You're probably wondering what happened to day five? Well, the honest truth is that I did absolutely nothing yesterday. I took it as a day off. I was completely chilling and resting. After that 12 hour study with me, I realized two things. One, I was really tired and exhausted from doing fast paper questions and I needed a break. The second thing is that I feel like I'm gonna be fine for this exam. I feel like I'm gonna be able to answer the vast majority of the questions that come up touch wood. And the thing is for this exam, I don't need to score the best possible grade that I can. I literally just need to pass. It's kind of like a tick box that you need to check in order to graduate medical school. But all of the exams where I needed to perform very well, I needed to score very highly. Those are long gone now. I'm done with those. I just need to know enough and study enough in order to be able to pass. And I don't need to stress myself in my studying past that point. And so since I think I've realized that I'm at the point where I can write this exam and comfortably pass, touch wood. I think I'm going to slow it down on the studying, do a little bit less each day, enjoy myself a little bit more and just kind of relax and keep my brain and mental health going up. So yeah, basically yesterday I caught up on a bunch of life admin tasks that I needed to do. I also played some video games with my sister and then we also watched a two and a half hour long movie, Shawshank Redemption. I'm sure you guys have seen it, if not heard of it. Very good, highly recommend. It's like the most highly rated movie on IMDb, so check it out. I guess that leaves us with a couple days left of studying. Yeah, so three days of studying left until the exam. We've got one, two, three. And what I'm gonna do for these last three days is I'm gonna focus on the past paper questions that we have that are directly from Kings. So doing past paper questions and question banks is an amazing way to study. It's what I've been doing for about a year and a half now. But if you have questions and past papers that are specific for your university, specific for your courses, you wanna make sure you really focus on those because a lot of the time, repeat questions come up or repeat topics, repeat focuses come up on your own exam. So it's important to make sure you know those ones well. And over the years at King's here, I've collected a whole bunch of papers, both from other people who have written them in the past and from myself when we do them online, etc. So I've got a lot of material to prep from. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna grind out these questions for a couple of hours here and of course join you guys over in the discords so we can all study together live keep each other company motivated and excited to get this work done so yeah here we go t minus three for this exam i'll see you guys in a bit peace all right guys so 
this is what we have on the menu for today. We have the most recent past paper that we did on the left, the answers, the most recent past paper itself, a chat to communicate with my friends and go through the questions. So I'm gonna hop on a video call with Georgina now, and we're gonna go through this past paper question by question, discussing it, answering it, and then checking our answers against the mark scheme. And that way we can do the most relevant questions to the upcoming exam, the ones that we know are most similar to, written by the same people, come from the same question bank, whatever. And so it'll probably be the most high yield, most important resource for us to go through. Good morning, Georgina. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm okay, you. You know, it's like most of the questions I do, I seem to know the answers, so... Yeah. And I feel like the like the King's questions are so much more straightforward than... Like, yeah. past medicine tests so much material. A 32-year-old man has a five-day history of pain at the base of his thumb. He fell from... Ah, oh, he's fed 220 mils per cake per day. I think that's too much. Yeah, I think it's like 100 mils per cake per day or something. Right? I was thinking that. So he's following the centiles. Uh, he's six weeks old presenting with this, not from birth. So it's not going to be like cholerex stenosis or... I think it's overfeeding. I think so too. Day seven, it's already dark outside. I didn't do much filming today, but I want to show you guys this immaculate study vibe that I've got going on here. Before the iPad, where I'm answering all the questions, then the lo-fi study meets video in the corner, the group chat where we're discussing all the questions, past paper exam with the answers, and then you guys on Discord studying with me and keeping me company. Now, I don't usually study with music. If I do, it's either like rain sounds or like jungle noises or lo-fi hip hop beats or music like this with no lyrics at all. And the reason that I don't is because I usually find it distracting, but if I'm kind of in a slump or in a mood where I don't really feel like studying, I find that putting music on in the background kind of helps get me going and pushes me through the session. But anyways, guys, unfortunately, not much to report here. Just more of the same boring, boring studying, prepping for these med school finals, which will be done very, very soon. I cannot wait. And then I'm off on holiday. I booked a holiday, but I'll tell you guys about that another time. Anyways, back to work and see you in a bit. And just like that, tomorrow is my last day studying for my med school final exam. If you had told me that a little bit ago, I would have told you, oh, it's so far away, it's never gonna come, like, I don't even need to think about it, blah, blah, blah. And now here we are, and it's actually after tomorrow. I think the thing is, after so many years of being in university, at some point you just hit a like routine, you reach a point where studying for exams and writing them just becomes like a part of your normal existence and it's not as big of a deal as maybe your first couple of exams in university are or maybe your final exams in high school, something like that. I honestly just wanna be done. I wanna, I wanna get this over with, move on and graduate. So as soon as our OSCE exam got postponed, I suddenly got a free two weeks in my life where I wouldn't have to do anything. Those two weeks right over there. And so I decided to book a holiday with one of my close friends, uh, here. He lives down the road. He also went to King's Medical School and graduated two years ago now. So we're going to go skiing in Zermatt, Switzerland. <laughs> Snowboarding, if you guys have been following the channel for any period of time, you might know is like my favorite thing in the world. So I'm very, very excited to be going. And you know, as the days pass by, as we get closer to graduation and becoming a doctor, I'm gonna be losing a lot of this free time. You know, when I'm a doctor, I'm not gonna have a random two weeks at some point to just take off and go skiing. So I wanna take full advantage of all of the breaks that I have in my remaining time left in medical school. And I think that's it for me today. I've just wrapped up editing the videos for the next two weeks so I can relax and chill for two weeks. Won't have to worry about it. And yeah, final day tomorrow. I'll see you in a bit. All right, good morning. It is the final day for my med school finals. I've got one day left. And what I really want to focus on this morning is the topics that come up on every single exam that they always ask about. And I want to make sure that I know those really, really well. So I've got these on my screen over here. These include things like the guidelines for how to manage a pneumothorax, 
warfarin adjustment and guidelines for a patient taking warfarin is bleeding. We've got DVLA guidance, I don't know, mega femur fractures, guidelines for atrial fibrillation, angina, stroke, pulmonary embolism. Uh, myocardial infarction, etc, etc. So what I typically do when I'm doing this part of my studying is I go through each of these conditions in my conditions list and I have on my iPad what I call a whiteboard, which is just a blank piece of space where I can write things down, recall things from memory and sort of make sure that I actually know them from my head. All right, that is the first four hour session of the day done. I'm feeling pretty ready for the exam, to be honest, I'm not worried. And I'm kind of just doing questions to keep my brain alive and ready and thinking before tomorrow. But I think I'll probably do a short session in the afternoon and then call it a day. Just rest well, relax, enjoy myself, play some video games, something like that. And then it'll be exam time. All right, guys, so I've just sat down for my second study session of the day. And in my break, I set this up. So now I've got my iPad over there and I can have a permanent Discord slash FaceTime slash YouTube video slash lo-fi beats music whatever place there on the side so it doesn't take up my like screen real estate. And remember how I'd set up the iPad with magnets in the previous vlog? All right, success. Yeah, that didn't really work. So what I've done now is I've got this stand thing and that's connected to the arm where my iPhone used to sit and I've wired the cable all the way down through the back and it now comes into here. So yeah, that's what I've spent about an hour and a half doing. Now I need to get back to work because my exam is tomorrow and I will see you in a bit. And all right, that is it. That brings us to the end of me studying for this med school final exam. I feel like my brain is fried. I've done a lot and I'm just ready for this to be over with. Quite happy with this iPad that I've set up over here. I feel like I can have things that I always want to see on the screen all the time without taking up or distracting me from the actual work and studying that I'm doing. But anyways, I think I'm just gonna chill with my sister, probably play some video games with her or some Minecraft with myself if she's not available. And then yeah, tomorrow I'm just gonna go and write the exam and I'll take you guys with me. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. All right. Good morning, guys. It is officially exam day and I woke up today feeling calm, feeling cool as a cucumber. As you guys would say, I slept very well. And then I saw an email from the Dean of Medical School or like the head of our stage in medical school. And it said something like, I just want to wish all the final medical students good luck. I understand how monumentous of an exam this is and how important it is. And I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> is this the same exam that I'm writing? Like, do I need to be more worried? Do I need to stress a little bit more? Do I need to realize how important this exam is? And it, it had me it had me a little bit worried, got some like butterflies in my stomach, got my heart racing a little bit. And then I eventually calmed down again after a bit of time. But all of this to say, I think I'm ready. I think I'm going to be fine. I just need to go in there, write the exam and just touch wood every step of the way. Anyways, I've actually got a couple of hours to kill now. And so I want to do something that's going to be completely chill, completely relaxing, not have me worried or stressed at all. And the perfect activity for that is Minecraft. So don't ask me why I'm playing Minecraft. It's like a childhood favorite game that I recently started playing again. And it's been like the most cathartic, relaxing thing ever. Let me let me show you my world a little bit. All right, guys. So this is my house over here. It's very primitive. I know not much going on. This is all my loot and goodness. I still haven't found any diamonds. I've got a nice little staircase here that takes you up to the big cave, the big mining area. So these are all copper blocks here. And this is sort of the entrance to my huge cave system, which extends down into all the way down there. And then the last thing I wanna show you is all my farms. So this is my sheep farm. As you can see, it's extremely humane. It's where I feed all my sheep. How did chicken get in there? And then this is my chicken farm. It's where I get all my meat, all my food, sustains me in the game. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down here and play Minecraft for a while, unwind, relax, and just chill. And then I'll be on my way to the exam. <laughs> I haven't been out of the house in so long because I've just been isolating, trying not to catch COVID before this exam. And man, everything looks so bright. Sun is shining today. What is it? Pathetic fallacy. But uh, good, good things coming for me. Ugh, and 
just like that, I'm done with my last written exam of medical school. Don't need this anymore. Peace. So yeah, guys, exam is over. Um, not gonna lie, I thought it was pretty tough, mostly because there was so much molecular biology and like physiology questions that would normally come up on our exams in first and second year, not in fifth year of medical school. You know, these are topics that we haven't studied or seen in ages, because after first and second year, you move towards clinical medicine and everything that you do is about clinical medicine, not microbiology and cell biology. But anyways, the good thing is, like I said, you know, I just need to pass this exam. I don't need to do well. I've already done well in all the exams where I need to do well. I literally just needed to pass. So pretty sure I passed, unlikely that I failed. And with that, that brings us to the end of this like over a week vlog of studying and prepping for this exam. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I feel like recording a little bit every day has been quite intense and it feels like this project has gone on for a long time. So I hope you've enjoyed kind of seeing it progress over that time. And yeah, that's it for me. I'm gonna just chill, relax, have fun, do basically nothing, isolate until my flight in a couple of days, going skiing in Switzerland. Let's go. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and following me on this journey from a baby medical student until a final year about to be done. Peace. I've done that before and oh, almost fell. Anyways, let me just. Uh, Okay, cool. Ready? Yep. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna sit down and grind out a couple hours of those questions. Who's this? Alexia. I'll call you back. I'll